students welcome in this youtube channel uh, let's do some extras of class 10 chapter ap and the question is if in an ap the sum of m terms is the same as the sum of its n terms show that the sum of its m nth term is zero so let's see what is given in this question so before solving these questions we should have two formulas with us First formula is to find the general term of an AP. So that is AN. AN formula is A plus N minus 1 D. Here A is the first term and D is the common difference. So second formula is finding the sum of N terms of an AP. And that formula is N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 D. So these two formulas we will be using in this question. So let's see what is given in the question. So first of all it is given. Uh, the sum of m terms is the same as sum of n terms. It means it is given sm is equal to sn. This is given to us and we need to find out sm plus n is equal to 0. That is our next work. So first of all, we'll start from here. So sm will use this formula. So sm is m by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to sn is n by 2 into 2a plus here it is sorry m aega okay n minus 1 into d right okay so what we do we will bring all these to left hand side first of all we will open this uh, in the left hand side and right hand side so let's multiply uh, m by 2 into 2a is 2 to cancel so it becomes am right plus here m by 2 into m minus 1 into d is left. So in other side, it is n by 2 into 2a, 2, 2 cancel. So a n is left plus here n by 2 into same thing n minus 1 into d. So further, I have to bring all these terms, all these terms to the left hand side. So it becomes a m and minus a n, these together here m by 2 into m minus 1 into d and here minus n by 2 into n minus 1 into d will be here. So further what we do, we will take a common from here. So it is taken a is common from here. So it becomes m minus n into a right plus if I see here, then D can be taken common from here. I tell you here equal to 0 is left, which I have left here to write. So it is equal to 0 is left, right? So now uh, what we do, D is taken common. So what is left inside? It is M by 2. So here bracket should be big because small bracket is coming inside. So M by 2 into M minus 1 minus here n by 2 into n minus 1. So let's see what will be happen now. Now what will be there see m minus n into a. So I can take here 1 by 2 common outside and what is left here. So m into m is m square m into minus 1 is minus m here 2 is taken common. So uh, minus n into n is minus n square then minus n into minus 1 is plus n it is right. So this is left. So further what we do m minus n into a right plus 1 by 2 same as it is. So m square minus n square can be taken together and it is formula here a square minus b square. So let's write them together m square minus n square right. Okay sorry it is now what we do we'll take minus here common so see here it is nothing minus 1 you can take common or minus you can take common so what is left m here minus n i tell you why i have done this see what i have done here so see here m minus n is here also here also i will get m minus n m plus n so i want to make here also m minus n already it was minus m plus n so if I take minus 1 common, so it becomes m minus n. So that further we can take m minus n common from all. That's why I have taken minus n common here. So further if you solve it, m minus n into a plus 1 by 2. Here 
a square minus b square so a plus b into a minus b formula can be used minus m minus n is this zero so this is only so further from all these m minus n can be taken common from all these so here it is left a plus here it is left 1 by 2 into so m minus n taken common so it is m plus n left inside here it is left minus 1 is equal to 0 so now this m minus n will go in the denominator 0 over m minus n is 0 only so what is left with us a plus this a plus 1 by 2 m plus n minus 1 in equal to 0 so you can take here or you can do multiply by 2 to get it here 2a plus 2 into 2 is cancelled so m plus n minus 1 is 0 so this is our first equation so why I have done multiply with 2 because I want to I do not want this denominator so you can take LCM also 2 then it becomes 2a plus this or that 2 will go here in the right hand side and becomes 0 so this way you can think or you can say multiply with 2 to left hand side and right hand side so now we have this equation now we have to find out show that sum of its m plus nth term is 0 so we need to find out this sum of m plus nth term so we'll use this formula it is m plus n over 2 into 2a plus m plus n minus 1 d is equal to okay this is we need to find out so if we fill the value of this which is inside the bracket from equation 1 i get the value is 0 here because see here its value is 0 so using 1 you can write using 1 so sum of m plus n is equal to m plus n over 2 into 0 is inside so that is a 0 so it is proved here so this sum of m plus n term is a 0 so this we will do this question thanks for watching